Hello, welcome to Blender Time. Thanks for tuning in. Let's begin. Select the cube. Tab into edit mode. Press A once or twice to select all. Right click. Choose subdivide. Left click on the screen to deselect all. At top left, click on face select icon. Press 1 on number pad for front view. Select these four faces. At top of the screen, click on the face tab. Click on inset. Drag. Left click. This inset the faces. At top of the screen, click on mesh button. Transform. To sphere. Press 1. Press enter. You can also click on to sphere tab to expand menu. Key in 1 in the factor field. I click on the tab again to close menu. You can press S to scale. This way we can adjust the size of the hole. To create the hole. Press 2 on number pad twice to rotate the view slightly. Press E to extrude. Drag the faces into the cube. This determines the depth of the hole. I tab into object mode. Press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface modifier at level 2. Right click. Choose shade smooth. Now we need to tighten up the corners. Click on modifier icon. Add modifier. Choose bevel. Click on segments. Key in 2. Enter. Click on profile. Key in 1. Enter. Change the limit method to angle. Click on the up pointing arrow to move bevel modifier above subsurf modifier. You can see the hole is not completely round. This is because the angle is set too low. Click on angle. Key in 60. Enter. Now the hole is round. The width controls the size of the bevel. Press and hold down shift key. Left click on the width field and drag to adjust the bevel size. Holding down shift gives smaller increments as you drag the mouse. If you want tighter shading at the corners, increase the segments to 4. To show the shading better, I change to a more reflective matte cap. As you can see, we have a very beautiful cube with a hole. Now we will cut the hole through the cube. First, we need to enable the loop tools add-on. This is a very useful tool for modeling. Go to Edit. Preference. Choose Add-ons, click on the search field. Type Loop. Click on the Loop Tools checkbox to enable it. Click Save Preferences. Loop Tools add-on is now enabled every time you launch Blender. If you want to disable Loop Tools, just come back here. Uncheck Loop Tools. Click Save Preferences. Now we close the dialog box. Let's start editing. Select Cube. Tab into Edit Mode. Make sure everything is selected. Right click on the screen. Choose Subdivide. Left click on the screen to deselect all. Press 1 on Number Pad for front view. Click on Face Select icon. Select these four faces. Press Ctrl 1 to go to back view. Select these four faces. Now we have the front four faces and the back four faces selected. I will rotate the view to show you. Press 1 on number pad for front view. At top of the screen, click on the face tab. Click on inset faces. Drag. Left click. This inset the faces. Right click on the screen. Loop tools. Choose circle. To adjust the size of the holes. Press period. Choose individual origins. To scale the hole. Press S. Drag. Left click to confirm. Make sure the front and the back four faces are still selected. Right click on the screen, loop tools. Choose bridge. A hole is cut through the cube. You can also use Blender's bridge edge loops for this operation. You can find it by clicking on the edge tab. The bridge edge loops is here. 
Let's move on. At top left, click on the vertex select icon. Press A to select all. Notice we have two stray vertices in the middle of the hole. Select these two vertices. Press Ctrl X to dissolve selection. Now I tab into object mode. Press Ctrl 3 to add subdivision surface modifier at level 3. Level 3 makes the edge of the hole smoother than level 2. Now right click on the screen. Choose shade smooth. We need to tighten up the corners. Click on modifier icon. Add modifier. Choose bevel. Click on the up pointing arrow to move bevel modifier above subsurf modifier. The bevel modifier must be above the subsurf modifier for this to work. On the bevel modifier. Click on segments. Key in 2. Enter. Click on profile. Key in 1. Enter. Change the limit method to angle. Click on angle field. Key in 60. Enter. Press and hold down shift key. Left click on the width field and drag to adjust the bevel size. Now I click on shading. Matte cap. Choose a more reflective matte cap. I rotate the viewport. Take note of the shading on the surface of the cube. I go to the bevel modifier. Increase the segments to 4. I rotate the view. As you can see, the shading of the cube is more focused. That conclude our lesson today. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. I will be uploading more tutorials very soon. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss them. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. Have a great day and happy blending.